Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at vertically shifting functions and other graphs. Uh, up until now we've had a look at horizontal shifting and now we're going to have a look at vertical shifting. And in order to do this we're going to consider this uh, instruction which is sketch the functions y equals x squared and y equals x squared plus 1 on the same set of axes. Now axes are here. Before we do that let's quickly review uh, what, what the horizontal shifting of graphs is about. Uh, so we might recall that to shift a graph a units to the right what we need to do is replace x with x minus a. And notably this works for both functions and non-functions, so, so re uh, relations that, that, don't, that aren't necessarily functions. Uh, also to shift a graph a units to the left we replace x with x plus a. So we're familiar with these concepts now. Uh, let's have a look at vertical shifting. So that's, that's to shift it to the left and right. What about up and down? Well, to shift it up and down, if we want to shift a graph A units up, we replace Y with Y minus A. Whereas if we want to shift a graph A unit down, we replace Y with Y plus A. Now, this may seem the opposite of what you might think. You might think, well, if we want to shift it up, surely we should replace Y with Y plus A rather than minus a, but the rule, the rule is in fact not that. It's to shift uh, a graph a units up, it's replace y with y minus a, and to shift a graph a units down, it's replace y with y plus a. Well, before we launch into this question, one thing I want to note about this orange function here, y equals x squared plus 1, if we were to subtract 1 from both sides, this would be the same as saying y minus 1, equals x squared. So y equals x squared, this, this green function, we already know what that looks like, we've graphed that a few times before, whereas y minus 1 equals x squared, we're unfamiliar with this graph, we're not quite sure what it will look like. But based on our definitions down here, we've said that to shift a graph a units up, we should replace y with y minus a. And of course, all these purple A's, these are just any, any real numbers that we'd like to substitute in here. So here it's, it seems that we've replaced Y uh, in, in this green function, we've replaced Y with Y minus 1 in order to generate this orange function. So because of that, our guess is that uh, because we replaced Y with Y minus A, this will be the same as the graph Y equals X squared, except it will be shifted one unit up. So we've replaced y with y minus 1, therefore it's going to be shifted one unit up. And just to confirm that this is the case, we're going to sketch both these functions on the same set of axes. And in order to sketch them, let's, uh, let's, let's do what we usually do when we need to sketch a graph, and that is let's draw, up, uh, let's draw up a set of x values, and then let's draw up a set of y values. Uh, and we, we've got two different y values here, so we'll, we'll do y equals x squared, so these y values, and we'll also draw up y equals x squared plus 1. So we're going to draw a table of values where we consider two different, two different graphs at once. And in terms of the x values that we'll consider, let's consider minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. Let's complete this green, um, this green function first because we're quite familiar with it. So at x equals minus 2, we'll have that y equals minus 2 squared. Minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4 because a minus times a minus is a positive. Here we've got minus 1 squared. Well, that equals 1 for the same reason. Minus times a minus is a, is a plus. 1 times 1 is 1. Here we've got 0 squared that equals 0, we've got 1 squared, that equals 1, and at x equals 2, we're going to have 2 squared, which equals 4. So our points that we'll graph over here, we're going to have minus 2 and 4, minus 1 and 1, 0 and 0, 1 and 1, 2 and 4. So if we graph these points on these axes, we're going to have minus 2 and 4, it's going to be 2 units left and 4 units up. Minus 1 and 1 is going to be here. 0, 0 is going to be here. 1 and 1 is going to be here. 2 and 4, that's going to be here. And if we connect these points, we're going to get our conventional shape of a quadratic function or parabola, which is going to look like that. It's not perfect, but it's going to look 
that sort of shape. Okay, now let's have a look at y equals x squared plus 1. Remembering that if we subtract 1 from both sides, it's going to look like this. Because of that, we're guessing that it's going to be the same shape as this graph, but it's going to be shifted one unit up. And let's just confirm that in orange here. So here at x equals minus 2, you're going to have y equals minus 2 squared plus 1. Minus 2 squared is 4, as we found out here. So there's going to be 4 plus 1. So this is going to be 5. Okay, what about at x equals minus 1? At x equals minus 1, this is going to be minus 1 squared plus 1. So we've just inserted minus 1 in here. That's going to be 1 plus 1. So that's going to be equal 2. What about at x equals 0? x equals 0, we've got y equals 0 squared plus 1. That equals 0 plus 1. That's just going to equal 1. At x equals 1, we're going to have 1 squared plus 1. That's going to be 1 plus 1. And that's going to equal 2. Here we're going to have y, y equals 2 squared plus 1. That's going to be 4 plus 1. That's going to equal 5. So in other words, our points here are going to be minus 2 and 5, minus 1 and 2, 0 and 1, 1 and 2, and here we've got 2 and 5. Let's go ahead and graph these points. So here we're going to have minus 2 and 5, so that's going to be this point here. We're going to have minus 1 and 2. We're going to have 0 and 1. It's going to be here. 1 and 2, it's going to be here. 2 and 5, that's going to be here. And if we connect these up, we're going to get the shape of a parabola. And sure enough, just as we predicted, this parabola is going to be shifted one unit uh, up from the origin, or just one unit up, generally. So this is the same shape, it may not look like the same shape the way I've drawn it, but this is the, exactly the same shape as this parabola. It's just been shifted vertically one unit up. And we can see why. It's because when we, when we substitute y with y minus a, or well here it's y minus 1, into some function, well, what we can, we can always do is we can just take this, this minus 1 over to the other side, such that it becomes y equals x squared plus 1, and then throughout here, we're just adding 1 to all these original units that we found in, in, for the y values. And because of that, all the y values are going to be one, one unit greater than they were for this green function. And consequently, the whole function is going to be shifted one unit up. So that's a bit of an introduction to vertically shifting functions. Just remember to shift a graph a units up, replace y with y minus a. Whereas to shift a graph a units down, replace y with y plus a. Those are the two rules you need to know in order to vertically shift a function.